Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today we're going to be talking about all of the books that I will hopefully be reading in February of 2023. I am so excited to talk to you today in today's video um, because I have a few announcements and like I'm just so excited for all of the books on this list, like I'm thrilled to read them. I'm so excited for the buddy reads I have, the new releases that are coming out. I really want to mention first the Chronically Courageous Book Club for January slash February. If you don't know what the Chronically Courageous Book Club is, a book club that me and Brie from In Love and Words, we put together. We really want to read romances that have um, own voices, diverse representation in them when it comes to disability, chronic illnesses, and or mental health. So we have decided to read Glitterland by Alexis Hall. This is being re-released um, on January 17th, so it's already past this point. So yes, this is a re-release and there is an audio, ebook, and physical version of this book now. Brie and I will be having our live show discussion on my channel on uh, February 25th, so mark your calendars for that live show. The representation in this book is bipolar depression. I don't know anything else about it. I don't want to know anything else about it because I want to go into it completely blind. This is my first Alexis Hall book. So I'm crossing my fingers and hope that I love it. I know that Brie loves Alexis Hall. So I'm so excited to chat with her about this author and this book on February 25th. So please be sure to uh, join us on that day because we just, we, we love chatting with y'all in the comments like so much during these live shows. And we love to know your opinion and thoughts while reading. So we're really excited to read this book. I next really want to mention something I'm super excited about. I am going to be one of the hosts for the novella readathon. This is a readathon that is hosted by Rachel from Rachel Reeth and Sings, Tiffany from Tiff Talks Pages, and Samantha from Books with Samantha with myself. And the four of us are going to be hosting the novella readathon. I'm so excited for this, y'all. Okay, so this is a week long readathon from February 6th to February 12th where you primarily read novellas. <laughs> All four of us absolutely love novellas. They're in like our weekly reads. So we just, we had to do a readathon like this and it falls uh, like right before uh, Valentine's Day. So we are prioritizing like Valentine reads. That is not what this readathon is about. Like you do not have to only read Valentine-esque like novellas but we thought it'd be cute to like do a little valentine theme but that is not what you have to do is read only valentine related novellas our buddy read though like our group our group read is a valentine related novella our group read is called uh cupid's peak this looks so good this actually comes out though on february 7th um, so the day after the readathon starts. So I just want to let you know about that if you really want to get a head start on the on the buddy read or the group read for the readathon, that's not gonna be happening because <laughs> it comes out on the seventh. Um, so a few tropes that the author listed for this book is its opposites attract, a second chance romance, snowed in, and a hot tub and a balcony scene. So there you go. I know that Rachel and Tiffany have both read from this author before. So I'm very excited. They both love the previous books that they've read and um, I'm really thrilled to read this with them. So mark your calendars for February 6th through the 12th for the novella readathon. I'm so excited. If you want more information, we're gonna be having a few live shows and possibly a giveaway and just like a bingo board as well. You can go to our Instagrams. We will have um, a bunch of like graphics probably in like our highlight section on our profiles. I definitely will. So be sure to be sure to go check out our Instagrams. Next, I want to mention the buddy reads that I have in February. First, I have Fearless Duke by Scarlett Scott. This is the sixth book in her League of Duke series. This is the last book in this series that Rachel and I are going to be buddy reading. We've been like buddy reading each book, like one book a month um, in this series. And oh, I'm going to be so sad that it's over in February. So I just love reading these books with her because Scarlett Scott is becoming one of our favorite historical romance authors. So I love just chatting about these books with her. Um, so this one is very interesting. Um, our Duke in here is um, Benedict. He apparently like keeps firing all the secretaries <laughs> that are being like put in his employment because they're not doing the job right. And so like the person who's in charge of sending him all of his employees like is so sick of this man firing all of our employees. And so her name is Isabella and she's said enough is enough and she's gonna go be the secretary for him. <laughs> and so I am very thrilled to read this with Rachel. It's gonna be so good. I also wanna mention, I will hopefully be buddy reading uh, Taken by the Horde King 
by Zoe Draven, which is the fifth book in the Horde Kings of Dakar series with Victoria from Victoria's Romance Reads. Um, we've also been buddy reading one book in this series a month. And um, I think we have like two more after this one. I don't know what this one is about. I don't want to read the summary. It's an alien romance book, a part of the Horde King series by Zora Jervin. And we love this series. Alien romances are like everything to me. And this series is becoming one of my favorite things to read like ever. And I've heard great things about this one specifically, like some of my friend's favorites of the series. So I'm thrilled to read this, especially with Victoria. Next, I have two books that are coming out in February that I'm really excited to read. Uh, first is Curled Up with an Earl by Amy Rose Bennett. This is the second book in the Byronic book club. Is it Bionic or Byronic? Byronic, there's an R there. There's a tagline, uh, like a quote from the book at the top of the summary. And I just want to read that to show you like how excited I am to read this book. This is the second book in the series that I read the first book in the series last year and loved it. So I had to read book two when it came out. So the little quote at the top on this one says, ever since we first met, I've imagined what it would be like to be in your arms, to feel your lips upon mine. I'm 28 years old, a shy and oftentimes awkward spinster with single scientific interests. And I've, I've never been kissed, not once. In fact, I never thought I would ever want to be kissed, but then I met you and I do want to try this very much. That looks so good, y'all. Like that line. I love a never been kissed trope. The other one that I'm really excited for that comes out in February is Black Hellebore. Hellebore. I don't know how to pronounce that. And I apologize. <laughs> this is book number 3.1 in the Wraith King series. So this is a novella about Brishan and Ildico. You know, them there. <laughs> My favorite romance book of all time is Radiance. And so this is a novella about them that takes place after book three in the series, The Ippos King. This comes out on February 14th. So this is gonna be an amazing Valentine's present to myself. <laughs> um, but this is just a little novella about Bershina and Ildiko. And I can't really talk about the summary that's listed here because that very much spoils I Don't Want, which is book two and uh, The Ippos King. So I can't really read the summary, but I'm very much looking forward to this. And um, I just adore this cover. Can, like beautiful. I have two books hopefully coming in on Libby. My hold will finally come to me in February. So first I have Focused by Carla Sorensen. This is the first book in her Ward Sisters series. I read all of the Washington Wolves football romance series in January and I was really interested in reading the Ward Sisters series. So in the Washington Wolf series, one of the heroes of that series, Logan, um, he has four younger sisters that he is the guardian of. So this series is about those four sisters all grown up. I tried reading this a few years ago, this book specifically, and I DNF'd it. So this is me retrying. I'm trying again. <laughs> um, but this is a sports romance and that's all I know. And that's all I really want to know. I think it's like a second chance. I think we got like a hint of this romance in book three in the Washington Wolf series um, because the heroine in here is crushing on this guy when she's in high school, who's her neighbor. That little scene of them getting in a little bit of a tryst happens in the Washington Wolf series. So um, I think this is kind of like a second chance kind of situation. I am thrilled to finally pick up Highly Suspicious and Unfairly Cute by Talia Hibbert. I'm crossing my fingers that this comes in from Libby sometime in February because look how cute this is. Like this is totally February vibes, this book, okay? Um, this is a YA romance. Like it's kind of like friends to not friends to lovers romance. Um, this looks really cute. It's YA. The hero in here is like a football player who um, has OCD. The heroine is kind of like a conspiracy theory nut. And uh, she has like a YouTube channel, I think too, where she like talks about um, conspiracy theories and they both end up signing up for this like survival camp thing in the wilderness and I don't know what's gonna happen but it's Talia Hibbert and I adore Talia Hibbert. Next I would love to pick up Western Waves by Brittany Cherry. So I've been reading one book in this series a month. Um, this is the third book in the Compass series which is a contemporary romance series. I don't know I think about this book and uh, Brittany Cherry's summaries are very vague to say the least. So I don't know anything about this but I love Brittany Cherry's books and um Hopefully I will read this one in February. The cover, this man is very, very pretty to look at. We'll just say that. <laughs> I want to read a few of the uh, Kindle Limited books I have checked out. So one that I have checked out is Lotus by Jennifer Hartman. I have never read a Jennifer Hartman book, but um, I feel like out of all of her books, this is one that I would definitely prefer the most. People have told me that they really relate this book to Archer's voice, which is one of my favorite romances ever. So 
I hope I like this. So the short little summary on here says, to the rest of the world, he was the little boy who went missing on the 4th of July. To me, he was everything. My heart hasn't been the same since he disappeared, but I've learned to build my life around that missing piece. 22 years later, the last thing I expect is for that missing piece to come back. His name is Oliver Lynch and this is his story. This is our story. And then the summary also says like some side characters pop up from Still Beating in this one. I don't want to read Still Beating. So um, hopefully it's okay that I read Lotus as a standalone. Please let me know if I can um, and if it's okay if I do. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to reading this. And then the last book that I have on this list is another KU read. This is A Good Night's Sleep by Stephanie Simpson. Um, I really wanted to pick this up because this is the first book in a series that I've looked into on KU that has chronic illness and disability representation. I believe this one, the hero has chronic insomnia. I think there's also fibromyalgia rep and like another book in the series. So um, I really want to just read the series and read more books with chronic illness and disability rep so I can just get more books like that because those are like my bread and butter. Those are books that I adore and love that are some of my favorites of all time. So um, I'm hoping I love this. This is like a neighbor's romance, I'm pretty sure. And uh, Stuart, the hero in here is really struggling with this chronic insomnia and um, Effie, his new neighbor, decides to help him out. I am looking forward to this and I hope that this is just a new series that I adore that has amazing rep in it. Anyways, there you have it. Those are the books that I will hopefully be reading in February. Please let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. And if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me any pink emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I'll see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all!